welcome to my video of the lessons of making models in 3D of Digimon for almost 10 years. This is a special video that I will make summarizing um, 10 years of making 3D models of Digimon. Uh, all of these models are available in DeviantArt for the renders. Uh, about the 3D models I will speak for of this later. So let's start. Okay. First, I will I will say this started in 2011, I was like 15 years old at that moment, and I just wanted to make Wormon in 3D. And so I decided to use this software, uh, 3ds Max, that I already used it for something, I did not remember, did not remember what was that, but I, I was making something. And I decided, oh, I want to do the Wormon, it's one of my favorite Digimons, and I did this model. Uh, it is. It was a pretty good model for that moment for me, because I really love that Digimon and this Digimon woman, and this is not bad. I mean, for a beginner of 2ds Max and 3D in general, this was a pretty good model for me. Uh, the textures and everything was an experiment, and it was a good result. But as you may see, if you Take a look to details like the mouth or this jaw thing that the Wormon have. It's pretty low detail. It's like just in a sphere and cut in half and move the vertex in zigzag like for trying to to be like a mouth or this jaw thing of the insects. And it doesn't it doesn't it, 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 it isn't right because you can animate this, you can use this as open and closing. So this is not good for a 3D model in general. And also, I don't know if you noticed that, but every every single shape of this model is separated. It is not like the, it's a whole body, a whole mesh. It's it's a lot of spheres joined and this doesn't look, this doesn't look right. The detail looks pretty low and the lighting it another problem with this model for a stylized three D model of something like it's supposed to be anime or something like that it doesn't look good it doesn't look right um yeah it, it, it will it will be f I don't know cool to see that there is a, a specular highlight here and a high high contrast shadow over here or something like that but no there is nothing like that in this render. Um, I was using Autodesk 3ds Max, as I said before, um, a pretty professional and expensive software if you are a high school student if, uh, in development country, so yeah, uh, no, this was not a good idea. I, I didn't know how to use it, by the way, I was just experimenting with it. Um, I decided to, I was already on DeviantArt, but I decided to make like an account just for this for these Digimons and it was a pretty popular for me account uh, because I, I don't know so many people like the, the 3d art of Digimons so many people like the art fan art of Digimon in general so I guess it was a good idea and in DeviantArt if you don't know what is DeviantArt, DeviantArt is like a community a social network of artists that you can publish art, art and sell it and uh, all kind of stuff. Uh, it's not uh, just, I don't know, digital painting or 3D. You can use literature or videos or whatever you want. It's pretty cool. I highly recommend that because it is a network of people. And these people will give you feedback. And if you really want to improve your, your skills, this is a good idea. Pay attention to the feedback they, they give you. and. The feedback will help you to get to stay motivated of what you are doing. So well, I got pretty good uh, feedback of my first model. So I decided to keep going with the uh, digivolving line of of Wormon, the previous form, Minimon and Leafmon. I was pretty happy with Leafmon. With Minimon, no, I was not happy at all. It was mainly because this cocoon thing was pretty weird. This is not the correct material, and the mesh looks. Uh, I don't know. I guess. 
I guess it need more 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 poly, but I'm not sure. Uh, and the, and the, this kind of antenna or ears look pretty weird because these lines here doesn't make sense at all. And this is not connected. It is a separate shapes as well. So that was not right. And I received like this feedback that told me exactly to not keep doing that. Like do it as a challenge to yourself and. Uh, I I see that now and it's like I should I shouldn't pay attention to that but I did not not because I didn't want it it was because I couldn't sorry I, I couldn't do that improvement yet and I keep going with this separate shape that doesn't make sense and these square like shapes pretty basic but the, and the textures are pretty basic too but uh, I was I was just trying to accomplish doing this these all forms of each of the Digimons of that season of the anime, and yeah, uh, you will see that the material is a problem still. Uh, Bimon is a good example of this. The face of the Bimon it's a good example of this. And in Bimon specifically, you will see that this guy it's pretty not well made. <laughs> it's the, the 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 original art of the Bimon. It's like it the, this face have a lot of uh, volume. It's not just a flat face like almost I did. So this was a bad idea. And the hands and the arms, I tried to connect it that that mesh with the body but this doesn't work as you might see it looks very unnatural so i was having to struggle with anatomy too not just materials and lighting and everything else i was struggling with anatomy i guess i did not understood well how the shapes of the body of a 2d thing work in 3d but yeah the people wasn't really expecting me to continue with my demons so yeah, I was receiving this feedback of, okay, you now did uh, Bimon and Wormon, now you will do Patamon and, Gat and Gatamon or Tailmon. Uh, that was, I don't know if I was already sure of keep going, but I, I tried Subamon, Upamon and Armadillon. And uh, no, this was not, no, this was not good. Upamon maybe, maybe Subamon and Armadillon, I don't get, I don't think that these two guys uh, had a good result. Uh, I was uh, still doing the same mistakes with lighting, materials, shapes separated, uh, flat shapes, everything that. Uh, um, with this other guy, Hawkman, I guess I have some improvement. This was uh, still 2011 and I was like, I don't know if you can see that improvement in Pormon. I guess Bruno Moon looked kind of good because this this looks weird but it's still like a baby and I, I guess this can be justified these lines here like it's just so smooth and fragile bird but now Hawkman looks kind of well for me I, I, I guess this is just for the face everything else is not as good but the face it's pretty detailed and the peak it's pretty detailed this thing in the head is detailed I, I was doing very job here. I guess the lighting changed too because it's like a front light, and then you can see the the, the face pre pre illuminated. I don't know. This worked better with the uh, Tokumon and Yaramon and Yukimo, Botamon and Poyomon. That was a pretty simple shape, so not too many places to get everything wrong. With Tokumon, Tokumon was this was okay. <laughs> For a pretty, sh pretty basic shape, it was okay. I did not make them out, but this work. It looks cute, I guess. Nyarumon doesn't look good at all. It's flat. This ear doesn't seem to be in the right place. The tail looks separated. The material, it's not the right material. Yukimo Botamon have the separate shapes, and that looks pretty obvious to me right now. I don't know if I saw that at that moment, but it looks very, very natural here. Um, so I was having a lot of trouble making a rookie version of these two guys. Patamon, you can see that Patamon went pretty wrong. 
everything here is wrong. I mean, only the eyes. Maybe I can rescue of this this model. The the shapes are so flat. The this is so out of the place. Everything like the like the wings seems pretty weird. I don't know. <laughs> this 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 looks like squares, like boxes, everywhere. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was trying to make separate shapes. I was I was trying to not do separate shapes anymore. I was trying to do only one mesh, and I, this mesh is everything, but it did not end well. So with, when I was doing Salomon, I really tried to go back to the shape by shape thing, and it kind of worked. But you will see that the material on the face looks looks flat again, and this these two guys this didn't end well. But when I when I enter it on more complex characters like Flamiramon, you will see like that that helped me a lot because they have so many materials, so many parts that are separated that it was a good way to improve the models. And I added a lot of details that I couldn't add it before or I did not pay enough attention. And I could improve the lighting, and you'll see that there are a lot of materials here. The skin is pretty shiny, and this armor is like... It, I guess it is... I wanted to make some reflection, but it doesn't look like it's reflecting anything. Just on a specular with high tint, I guess. And the anatomy, it's better than Bimon, and other Digimons I made previously, but it's still kind of... I don't know... Uh, like in a square, like 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 boxes, not like very anatomy anatomy accurate. I like it. I like this making these symbols in three D look look it pretty right for me at that moment. And this was one of the better models at that point of getting attention of people. I received a lot of good uh, feedback. Um, it was I was very happy with this one. Uh, the people, the people was expecting me to continue. I uh, I remember that uh, they were they were like, oh when you will the, then the next will be right on, I guess and yeah they were right. I I I was pretty inspired with with Flameramon and Raidermon because I love those two Digimons. So I I keep going and make the symbol again and I you try to make a lot of details much of as, as I could and it worked for me the material seems pretty flat still but this looks right if you go I don't know enough far of the screen <laughs> but yeah I was having like this style for each 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 DJ uh, digivolution I don't know like each one has different colors and I could add some details but still, still I was trying to make like, not make, trying to not making the same mistakes. I added a lot of details, a lot of materials, um, still separate shapes, but kind of look good with an insect, insectoid type. This doesn't look right at all. This material, I see it now. I don't know if I saw it that, at that moment, but they were, they were okay. They were like an average, uh, of not bad, not good, and I was happy with that. And a lot of people, I think, was happy with that because I was a pretty beginner guy, I guess. Uh, Pegasus Moon and Forty Moon looked kind of cute for me, but they were a different uh, method. I used external models. I just like searched for free models of. 3D wings or something like that, and I added them to this on the face of Nefertimon, I guess. It was also uh, up the head of someone, I don't know. But yeah, it was free models everywhere. But I tried to add a lot of details for making these models, like the more accurate I could at that moment, and the materials were kind of okay, it's still pretty flat. But yeah, those wings are not mine, I'm sorry. Uh, so. I was still in 2011, I was struggling with time because I decided to make more complex characters like this one, Kimera Mon, it's a pretty complex character. Uh, this guy has 
it's like a merge of different demons so you will see that this is not supposed to be of this body and everything is like weird but this was a pretty good i I, I thought it was a good idea to make this one. It's like a BJ. I don't know. The bad guy. The bad guy is. It's well. Um, yeah, it was the bad guy. And so, yeah, this was not a good idea in time. Because I wanted to end this, and because of that, I just did not pay attention to the mistakes I, was, I, I knew I was doing. And I just wanted to end this because I. I used like three days with this one and it was a lot of time previously I did like these baby forms like in, in training forms like in I don't know three in one day but this guy took me like three days and it was a lot of time for me uh, but yeah I keep going and Magnamon was one of the that of one of my favorite guys Digimon models I made at that point it's still one of the one that I am pretty proud of, but this guy consumed time too because there were so many experiments with materials and shapes, but it, it was pretty good. Uh, I guess there are some things to get better, like this kind of weird lines here, this sphere doesn't look like part of the body the, or the armor, this hand look pretty weird too. Uh, yeah, the people started to asking me for Digimons that I did not was thinking of making. That was a, a problem because I was like, mm, I don't know, I already don't have time for the ones I'm supposed to be doing and I don't know if I could do I could do more. And some people later, this is like two years from when I published it, it started to asking me for the models for download. Uh, uh, that was a problem and I would speak about that later so I will add this to my list of things I learned in this process make that a backups and sharing please always try to make good backups of what you're doing and if you can and you will, and you like to do it and uh, share those things because you never know when everything will, will disappear Ah, oh, here is Xpimon. I like this guy a lot, but the head is completely out of the body. It looks like a separate mesh, and it it, it is. So that's why this looks so weird. The head's like flat. I don't know. The hands have more details and it looks more anatomic, anatomy, anatomical. Our uh, uh, look look better in anatomy. I don't know that word right now, but geez. I mean this 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 material doesn't look too right for me. I don't know. This can be more, more much better. More, this can be improved in a lot of ways. And yeah, I got a lot. Of, I got a personal style in this one too, like the champion forms of everyone. I will have this like uh, this nostalgic theme. Of the lighting and the names of the, the Digimons, like you will remember the, the anime when you saw this. That was the main idea. And I would try to add some emotion to the face of the, the Digimons. So you will see that. And Killabon looked like a strong guy that it's not pretty happy. I don't know. That that was I was experimenting with that. With Akilamon experimented with the lighting and it it, it is it was a improvement, a very good improvement. This is why this part of <laughs> its results it's like at this moment i was playing with lighting and it, it was good like you can see the shadows here and the lighting here this is this doesn't look like a 3d uh, realistic model but it doesn't it doesn't look like it's not uh, i don't know it's the light set at all it's not cat cartoony it's like a balance between those two and the details and everything here is is a good quality I guess the horns and everything look like real horns I don't know for me this looks pretty well for that moment was a lot of improvement and Angemon was one of the ones with more attention because everyone loved Angemon and this guy was a challenge for all the clothes and everything but I don't know how but this ended pretty well I, I guess I stole ahead of someone for this one but yeah, this this was a 
great improvement in my in my in my process and Sailmon doesn't look right for me mostly because of the head but because you can see in the other angles it looks kind of okay but if you see this angle that the one I decided to go like the main I don't know why it looks weird at all it's like this the head does, doesn't look like a head but yeah the final module this part was thing when I was so happy with Simon because I improved a lot the materials and yeah this was like I don't know an improve of almost everything I was so so into the details of the shapes because I love this guy and the light and I was experimenting I guess I didn't use just one light I used two or three lights I don't know the materials the transparent materials the reflective the glossiness everything was pretty much different from other models the the details of the hair everything was like an improved this this legs doesn't look right for me but I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why did I did not add more detail here but the the pose and everything was uh was one of the ones that I was happier with and this was because I really love that that scene when these two guys are in 3D and are and in DNA DG Bolton that was the inspiration for these two designs and you can see that this guy is going like this way and this guy is going to this way so they are about to DNA Digibolt and I I, I, I told I, I I wrote this 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 entry in my journal of Debian Art at that point that I was going to go to a break and I did and it was a long long break but I promised I made a promise at that point that I will return with the DNA Digivolve version of these guys and yeah the feedback in the community was not. I don't know if they were they pay attention at this point, but later they were where the hell are you? And I I need to talk about this because the money was a problem. I was like an a student. I I need to go to to college and everything of that. And I did not have enough money. I did uh, I, I I needed to go to do some work and um or part time job or, or anything that could sustain maintain me in college and I did not have time for this so yeah making these kind of things are a, a hobby and I did not have money either neither for for the software so yeah sometime later I don't know uh, for a lot of years later I just saw this uh, uh, open source movement and I was aware of it and I already knew some of the software that it that it was free and everything and I was like I, I need to give it a try because yeah I don't have money for it software anymore and yep that was in 2018 and I was back and finally I accomplished to making the first DNA digital for these guys a lot of time later but uh, I, I used Blender for this one and it was, I guess, more improvement because I had a, a lot of time for, I don't know, watching videos and learn, learning from this software. Um, I I know 3ds Max is supposed to be professional and everything. I, I guess many people would think Blender is not, but Blender is a pretty professional uh, uh, standard software for me. And I really like that Blender has a community full of, I don't know, help and tutorials and information about everything. So if you only look for information, you will get almost everything you can do. And you will, you will have like, I don't know, you, you, you will develop a curiosity of everything that Blender can do that I loved it. So yeah, I was like into Blender and I, I was experimenting with the shaders and everything. I, I guess this was Cycles Render and it took me a lot of time, <laughs> but not as many as other models I made in the past. And I was, I think I improved a lot in materials and proportion and perspective because I, I had time for playing with Blender in those years that I did not make more models. And the design, this, the design of these these guys is 
pretty much complex I guess and for me it looks right I don't know if it's the best way to go but it looked right for me Shakumon was like a rush yeah a rush I did not have time again 2018 I was like working and studying at the same time but I say to me at least like I can use like two hours a, a day for making models it, it it must be possible and I did this one in like two hours I record that and I published that on YouTube so you can watch the process and it was a good idea because that was the way I could continue with these guys but the, the bad the bad the problem with this is that this is not a good model as it was it was the the previous palermon sorry just just crush it okay it was not as good as palermon shakumon was pretty simple and it was because i was in a rush i did palermon i don't know in vacations i guess and Silphimon was one that i did in 2020 it was a long time later because again i was working and i was with uh, my my college studies and and i did not have time for this but what what was fun with Silphimon when it was that i really wanted to to end this so i did i i say to myself like before the year end you need to publish this thing and i don't know where you're gonna find the time but do it and it worked and it, it was a good model i guess because the sculpting and all that process that i did not use before was a good experiment uh there are like sil three silphimon models <laughs> in trash because i did a lot of version of this one and they were pretty bad but this one looks kind of good I don't know if good is the word, but yeah, it worked. And I I used this 360 a view of this one, and I loved it because you can see every detail I worked on. So I continued my work uh, with Imperial Ramon, the last of my models, and uploaded the video because it was a long process, but it was the most detailed as I could at that moment and the materials and everything is highly 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 detailed uh, I mean it was it was a great investment of time but I get I think that the results are are very good and this was the last model I made this was this year at the start of the year but at the same point this is the end of the 3D models because it's the last one I wanted to make, make um, Imperial Drum. So this was it, this was the end, and I was pretty happy with this. But I I kind of think um, at a lot of points of what the hell happened with my models because you, you, you see that this person, you, you saw that this person asked me before of sharing the, the models but I did not have the model I couldn't I couldn't find them and it was like the computer get died and the, and I did not make anything like a, like a, like a, how do you say this um, backup of this of this model so I just have the image but with the blender ones, the ones uh, of DNA digital Libre Revolutions like Silphimon and Peldramon and Imperial Ramon, I got I, I have all those those models. And I really want to uh sorry. I have those models and I have shared a lot of information of them in a lot of social media. But I wanted to share the models. So I started to use Gumroad and, and I will do this because I guess it's a bad idea to just have models and store them in a computer that I will not use and they will eventually die. So I wanted to to, to share them in Gumroad for for anything you will you you could use them. I don't know. Um, 
videos, animations, uh, game design, uh, BR, AR, everything. Uh, 3D printing, I don't know. But yeah, I know, I know there is a lot of things you can do with this kind of module, so I will be starting to share those models. So if you want to, uh, to have one of those models of the, my, my Digimons, you can just wait until I publish it, <laughs> publish them. Uh, make sure to follow me in social media because that's the way you will notice when they will be published. But, but that's all. I will. I that's one. That that is one of the most valuable things I learned from this this process. Uh, just not the feedback of the people. It was, it was this thing about sharing. Uh, I I really want to share these things. I don't want it, them to be in my computer until they are that. I want them to be used by other people for making things. So yeah, I will be sharing them them so. So stay, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.